Welcome to our spline overview lesson. I'm going to begin by activating the line tool. I'll place a line right about here, horizontal line. Now activate the spline tool. We're going to make it a three point spline. There's my third point. Right click and create. Right click and done to close the tool. To adjust the shape of the spline, you can simply grab and drag a point, move it around the workspace. We're also able to insert spline points. Just right click and select insert point. I'm going to insert right here. Right click and done. Now I can grab and drag this point too. To delete a point, just simply select it and press delete on your keyboard. The positions of points used in a spline can be dimensioned. OK. And OK. Right click and done. I'm going to delete these dimensions now though. In principle, you can't dimension the spline. However, the points on the spline can be dimensioned. And the ability to dimension the points is obviously very convenient. Inventor does provide additional tools for manipulating splines. Each spline point has a bow tie handle attached to it. If we double click on any spline point, the bow tie handle will appear. Each point has a bow tie handle, and currently they're blue. That means they're inactive. In order to activate the handle, just simply right click on the spline point and select Activate. Now I can grab the handle and reposition the spline as required. To deactivate the handle, just click outside. To activate the handle again, select the point. The handle can be dimensioned as well. Let's activate the dimension tool, enter a value of 1, and accept. This is not a measurement in units, as you see by the tag there, UL. This stands for unitless. OK, let's dimension this angle as well. OK. Right click and done. Now let's delete these dimensions. Curvature is another tool that we have available. Right click and select Curvature. This tool adjusts the curvature at selected points. But it affects the entire spline, unlike the bow tie handle where your adjustments affect that area. Let's apply a radial dimension. OK. And let's right click, done. Now let's select and delete this dimension. Right click, select flat. As you can see, flat and curvature are versions of the same tool. Let me take a moment to demonstrate. Let's activate the dimension tool. And now let's apply a radial dimension. To be sure you've selected a radial dimension, wait till the circle appears. There we go. And as you see, we're basically dealing with a circle that's got a very large radius. OK. Let's double click and change this dimension. Let's say 1.5 inches, for example. OK. And this concludes our basic overview of the spline tool. We're going to be learning more about splines later in this course.